Hello, Gamer Gnome is back. And in this video, we're going to create the strongest single unit and anime champion simulator. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys every time you use my Star Code, I get paid. Guys, do you believe that this unit that you're seeing, yes, this one teleporting, is one of the best or the strongest unit in the game? Guys, I'm gonna show you why. Okay, first, I'm gonna prove it to you. So let's do a raid. So we're gonna do the cursed city raid medium. Okay, I'm just gonna show you guys how to use it in a practical way. Because again, unless you have seven of these units, you can rush hard mode. Okay? So guys, it took me three days just to get this unit. Okay, it's not that easy. So as you can see, guys, this is medium. See the guys, this is not fast forwarded. The moment that we reach another area, the mobs are already dead. <laughs> again, I'm just warning you, this is not easy to create but gamer nom do we need to use money no guys you just need to be extra lucky and actually you need to play a lot okay see the guys okay then okay okay moving on done with our first boss which means we got some how do you call this some medals done here and we are going to the next area okay after this secret area Okay guys, so this part, I cannot do anything about it. Why gamer nom? Because uh, if you're kind of weak on jumping on stuff and having a hard time gauging the distance, the perception, etc. Guys, just like me, check this out. Oop. And you and you always fall. Guys, don't don't go to this area. <laughs> just go straight to the boss. But if, if you're good at this one, then uh, there is no problem. Okay? Because again, if you really want to be more efficient, Make sure do that without falling to save more time. So there you go guys, less than 2 minutes in order to finish a medium, okay, medium raid. Again, using only a single unit. Is it strong? For me, yes, it's really strong. Gamer Nom, I have some questions. The talent, the quirks that you're using, guys, I'm gonna show everything, okay, don't worry. Next stop, our next test is power. So. I haven't, this is the first time that I uh, tried entering the tower in update 1, yes? So, um, our last tower, we're at 105, okay? So, maybe I will create 7 of these units and defeat floor 200, so watch out for that. But for what floor 105, we're gonna solo this floor using only our unit. Again, we're just testing and I want you to see that this unit is really good. Check that out guys, DPS, <laughs> guys do you see that, that is stronger than my brother's total damage per second, his whole units, he's using like 7 uh, Zenitsus, there you go guys, 77 million at peak damage per second, that's really high, <laughs> imagine having a 7 of these, oh, that's so OP, there you go, so guys can you guess what? quirks do we have oh did i already show it a while ago okay guys guess please comment it in the comment section guess on what quirks do we have on this unit okay, the first one that can guess will be lucky <laughs> on spinning a godly uh what do you call this cosmic godly okay <laughs> so for the requirements what do we need guys we need a godly itadori or itakai there you go so that this is not easy to get i'm telling you Okay, next up, you need to ascend it, okay, so that you can get two quirks. For the two quirks, you need black hole and sniper. Gamer Nom, why sniper? Here are the benefits of getting the sniper. Guys, check it out. 1.2 times damage plus 60% crit chance plus 100% crit damage. And then partner it with black hole which gives you plus 30% crit chance for a total of 90% chance to do a critical hit. So guys, you will be increasing your damage, your critical hit. The critical hit is the decider for me. I tried other uh, quirks such as Art Mage and uh, what I call this Assassin, but I prefer this one. And guys, uh, I spent 8,000 medals just to get Black Hole, and that's not easy. Also for the item, guys, uh, I will be showing to you. Don't worry. Plus, what I got with the total damage, I think we got. Uh, wait, let me show you. 3.2 million. Okay, so this is the item, Demonic Curse Mythical, and we got 
plus 40% damage and 12% crit chance. So now we have 100%. <laughs> Moving on to our next requirement, we need lots of tokens. Guys, I spent 100, 1,500 tokens to get uh, SS rank on my unit. So guys, here are the areas. This one, I'm going to show you the areas fast. Here, here, okay? On the right and left side of the blue house. Next up, near the cannon, that's three areas. Okay, guys, I'm going to show it to you fast, okay? Next one. So from here, just move straight here, okay? Under the umbrella. One spirit summons there. Again, I'm talking on all the spirit locations here. Actually, it's not all, but the most common areas that it spawns on. There you go. Next one is here. The other one is near the umbrella again. Here you go. And last three areas. One is found here. There you go. Oh, actually, it's four. One. Next one is here. Two. Three is... Oh, guys. There's a spirit. A golden one okay there you go so guys you just need to keep on going on those areas and most likely you can I think grind 115 minutes I'm not so sure I just keep on grinding until I get 500 <laughs> less than one hour yeah less than one hour you can do it hopefully you get lucky so yes you just need to keep on going in circles until you find one okay so one again I forgot to show you this area wait here guys here here on the stand oh there's a golden one again wow okay so there you go guys all the locations so again once i got 500 tokens okay this will be the last one and let's head and try to give our unit more talents okay so let's check there you go 500 and let's head now to the talent center okay so as you can see we have bccc <laughs> so again we're gonna fast forward it and guys check it out ss is not enough we will try to get triple s also guys you can save it <laughs> i learned it from other players on the comment section on my previous video there you go guys just click the lock but let me warn you guys the more locks that you click the higher uh, what do you call this? The medals that you're gonna use. Oh, no, no. Not medals. Tokens. Okay? So, you will spend more. Guys, imagine if you already lock three, uh, what do you call this? Uh, statistics or stats. Guys, you will be paying eight tokens per lock. I mean, per roll. So, that's really hard. So, guys, again, here you go. You grind 400 and try to unlock the final, uh, what do you call this? Uh, rank. There you go, on speed, but sadly guys, we only reach double S. That is the best thing that we can. I don't want to grind anymore because again, the last stat is only speed. So we will still maximize the damage. Also, we have teleport, right? I mean, black hole has teleport like skills. So we won't be needing speed that much. So to end this video, we're going to finish Curse City solo hard. Okay, this is hard. <laughs> so meaning it is supposed to be hard, not easy. Also, I will be showing you how... Uh, this is where I got one of the items. Yep, the the one that we're using on our Itadori here. The one that will make you Sukuna. So again, this is hard. As you can see, we cannot burst much of the units here. But I think having 7 or 8 of these units will make everything easier in Update 1. So as you can see, there you go. Again, this is 2 times speed. Okay, the, on the only hard part is fighting the boss here. Because again, they have more HP. Like for example, this one guys. He will be using his skills. There you go. Especially this one. This will make things harder because again, we only have one unit. But again, check it out. The damage is really high for this unit. We already reached 50 million. Uh, DPS 60. I mean, yeah, 16 million DPS. Again, our total max is 70. Oh, we've reached 80, guys. See that? 80 million. That's a lot. And yes, it's taking time. We've already passed our uh, medium time, right? So we finished it in like 13 minutes remaining, right? Now it's 12. So there you go, guys. It's not that easy. So I'm just showing it to you. Uh, you don't need to do this. <laughs> Okay, after this, oh, the armor. Armor's really annoying, guys. Always done. Moving on. 
But guys, the advantage of finishing a hard quest is that you will be getting more rewards from chests, right? Also, uh, the, the the purple chest, right? The, pur the purple dark chest, you can only get that or, or open that once a day. So make sure to defeat that in a hard mode, okay? When you want to like uh, get the chest, make sure to do it on hard mode. You'll be getting lots of rewards once a day with that, okay? I hope that's clear. There you go. So, 10 minutes remaining. Let's head to the secret, secret area. Okay, jumping, jumping. <laughs> Guys, when you do it like 10 times straight, most of the time, I start to make mistakes because when I do it repetitively, I get tired and I try to check my phone while playing, etc. <laughs> so, I can, I'm kind of lucky during the recording. I did not fall. There you go. And for the final part, the boss. So as you can see, we still have 9 minutes, right? But the thing that makes this one hard is the skills that you need to dodge. Also, again, the armor. And yeah, this is like a, too much flex because I spent maybe additional 10 minutes on just finishing this area. But this is the part where I recorded the drop. Which is really good, so I can show it to you that it's real. Yes, this this raid is dropping this item, etc. And also to motivate everyone, showing you how strong this unit is. Okay, eight minutes remaining, and we are about to destroy his armor. There you go. What is our total damage? 60k, 70k, 80. Okay, 83 million is our highest DPS. Not bad, right? For a single, again, that's a single unit, guys. 83 million damage with a single unit. Is it OP for me? Yes, it is. If you have an, uh, if there's an, a unit that's stronger than this one, maybe it's a cosmic unit that is ascended twice with the same, obviously, the same uh, perks plus talent. Yeah, triple S talent. <laughs> so if you can show me a, a unit with that, uh, please do. That's not easy and it's really hard. Or maybe those black orb units, right? I haven't tried one because, again, I think you need to use a Robux there. Like, you, you're gonna use your diamonds and you can, you can buy game passes using your diamonds. So why try to get those black orb units, right? Just focus on getting, getting uh, mythic, godly mythics or godly cosmics. Okay, so we're almost done, guys. 3 billion HP remaining on the boss. Okay. I think once we destroy his armor or the yellow bar, we will be having higher damage. Because because when there's armor, I think the dam maximum damage is 50 million only. There you go. It's broken now. So check that out. 70 plus. Oh! Guys, we reached one... Uh, 90 million damage. See that? Oh, 90 million DPS once. May oh, because of the crit. That's a crit, guys. That's the crit talking. So again, guys, I still believe that the quartz black hole in sniper is the best. So guys, there you go. For the yellow one, there you go. And for the dark purple one, there you go. That's the item. So again, just a reminder to turn your character into Sukuna. You need this one. Okay, the demonic curse is the best. Yeah, demonic curse item. Okay, so I think that's it for this video. Again, good luck on creating your own strongest unit. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom. Gamer Nom out.